What's going on, everyone? It's Jeremy. Let me ask you a question. How comfortable are you with building with Technic? I know a lot of the sets now, you see the supercars, the Ferrari that just came out, the Lamborghini, the Bugatti, these huge three, $400 vehicles, um, along with some of the huge construction equipment pieces like the, the Lieber crane that's going to come out. I think it's been put off till 2023. That's over a meter or over a yard or meter tall. The, um, the D9 cat, and some of these huge things. Um, in even some of the smaller, large cars like Dom's Dodge Charger that was $100 in the U.S., um, they can be very intimidating to build. This little set here came out in 1984, and this was one of, I don't know if this was the first or the second, Technic set, and I don't even think it was under official Technic name. I don't know if that name had been designed yet or not. 1984, um, that may have been 1986 when that actually was started, or 85. But this is the very first Technic set with Technic pieces that I got as a kid. I think I was four, so <laughs> yeah. Dad, mom, and dad, I guess dad, I'm sure, probably just threw me to the wolves and said, Here, son, take this Technic set. Like, what is this? So, yeah, I do have a couple pieces, especially those that have teeth marks on, because when you stick them in there and they don't come out, you don't think about using a pin to push through the other side at the time. So, yeah, live and learn. So, this is my set, the instruction manual. It gives you some of these little neat features on bar links. I don't know, I wish they kind of still did this with some of the new stuff. Um, gear links, Z8 being how many teeth are on each one, 40 teeth, and then some of your other ones. And this little set had multi, it's not just these two builds. So you got this little windmill and you learn the crank. And what this set does, there's only 119 pieces in this set. But you get six different builds, so like a little dozer type thing. The Jeep is probably one of my favorites, and it's just little car and the helicopter. And all the gears work, and at the time you could even add, yeah, it says add set seven or 8700 to make it motorized. And it gives you the directions to do that. You basically just go through and you can build each individual one. Yeah, it's like, there's the Jeep. It's really neat because it shows you how to build. I think it's a really good intro. Yeah, there's a van. Let's try to find that windmill. I think I missed it. But it shows you to where you're not totally, here we go with the windmill. You're not totally intimidated by doing a gear like the gearbox for one of those supercars if you guys have watched the videos of other people doing those the gearbox is like 800 to a thousand pieces by itself yeah but anyway with this this is kind of what got me started into technic i don't do a lot of technic stuff you guys have seen that the biggest technic set i have is my Kloss tractor i think it's around a 200 dollar set uh, it's got some motorized features with it. And Dom's Dodge Charger is probably the largest car, non-tractor, we'll call it that, that I own. And it, it was only a $100 set. So you guys know the size of that compared to one of those supercars that are three to 400 now. But you do use a lot of little features especially like the, the turning wheels and little gears and things. I've used them on trying to get different things motorized. So all that's there. It's a good little feature, but I know if, if you're new to Lego or if you, if you got into Lego within the last five to six years, yeah, even with instructions, you miss one thing and you learn later on that you messed that up 30 or 40 steps back. And with Technic, yeah, you've probably got a one to two hour problem rebuild. 
So, but anyway, this is the set that I got as a kid. I don't know what you guys think about it. I, I know it's not much. It's only 119 pieces, like I said. The name of it is Universal Set. So it's a it's a very, and I think I um, I looked this up to buy this used, um, just like this, with all the pieces. It took me forever to piece this all together to find all the individual pieces in my collection. Um, it's only like fifteen. It's under twenty bucks um, used. So you might be able to get it for twenty bucks shipped if you find it at the right price on eBay or Bricklink. If you're interested in this one, a lot of the old sets from the 80s, they have this, they're, they're the similar thing on the front that shows you, you can just take it and, oh, that's an eight. Yeah, and that, that's actual size, so there you go. Gears actually match up exactly, so you know what piece you're looking for when you're going through the book. Anyway, that's all for this one. I just wanted to show you how I got into Technic a little bit to where whenever I decide to build something or if I want to go and find something new to build that's Technic and buy something new, like the, one of the sport cars, I wouldn't be totally overwhelmed. Just kind of work your way up from somewhere. This isn't a bad one to start if you guys are intimidated by Technic, and I know a lot of people seem to be. Or just customization using only Technic stuff. Now we don't use the bars and the uh, all the new pieces that Technic has come out with just in the last ten years has been incredible. Um, like the supercars, the basically the entire outer body, none of those pieces existed. It was yeah, this <laughs> that was you know that was high tech using like these two different things or that. That was your most odd piece. So work your way up. You got to start somewhere. This is where I started. little background. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.